everyone uh, this is rajendra and in this particular video we are going to talk about python data structures so first we'll understand what all those uh, important data structures are and we'll understand uh, what is the use for those data structures right so uh, first data structure that we have is the numbers okay so any any number okay any number that uh, in fact the data structure name is integer and any numbers whether it's a whole number or it's a decimal point all the numbers will be part of this integer data structure right so if you simply wants to uh, create a variable with uh, integer data type simply you just need to use a variable name equal to uh, that integer value any constant value right and uh, we don't need to specify any data type because uh, python is a dynamically typed programming language okay dynamically typed programming language what does that mean so that means for a variable we don't need to specify the type whatever the data whatever the type of data that you assign it to variable your variable will become of that type right so here you can see we created a variable a and we are assigning the value of 10 so we are not specifying any type here but if you see uh, we have a type function in python that will specify the type of that variable so if you run it you can see we, the type of that variable a is integer why this happened because python is dynamically typed language so whatever data you assign it to variable that variable will become of that type right so this is about the first data type we have in python called integer right now uh, the next data structure that we are going to discuss is the string so the next data structure we have is string so this is again a very important data structure so let's understand few uh, attributes of the string so this string data structure is nothing but it's a kind of a sequence of characters okay sequence of characters we call it as a string right so how to create a string in python it's a very simple uh, variable and in a either double quote or a single quote we have to just specify a string okay like something like this this is uh, my string so this is how you can specify so either you can use a double quote or you can just use a single quote as well so this is also perfectly fine this is another string so both things are perfectly fine right so if you want to initialize an empty string simply you can just use some like this okay either single quote or double quote or there is another option to initialize a string is my str is equal to we have a str function so this is how also you can initialize an empty string right now the next important uh, property of the string is it's immutable okay what does it mean by immutable once you create a string you cannot modify the elements of that string that means once we create this particular string you will not be able to update the value instead of i if you want to add any other character you will not be able to do that right so that's why we call string as a immutable right so more on the string part we'll see in some different video where we'll talk about the what all operation that we can do on the string and all okay so that all stuff we'll talk about then the next data structure uh, about uh, in python is the list so this is again a very important data structure so let's understand few properties of the list so list is list is a collection of heterogeneous heterogeneous data okay what does that mean inside a list you can have a data of any type okay it could be number string uh, even a list could also be a, as an element so how does the list will look like so it's a very simple uh, in a square bracket we have to just provide something like this right so this is how your list will look like so we can have any number of element in the list and that also can be of any type right now the next property of the list is it's a mutable okay what does it mean by that that we can modify the internal element so we can just this zeroth element we can update it with some other value as well right then all the elements are stored in 
sequential order okay so in a memory all these elements are stored in a sequential manner and that's the reason we'll be able to access the element with the index so something like this if i do my list of zero we'll get the zeroth element from that list right so this is about a list data structure now we have another data structure called tuple now what is the difference uh, between tuple and list so only difference that we have is list is a mutable data structure and tuple is immutable okay all other properties are same like even tuple also can have a any type of data okay and those are stored in memory in a sequential order okay so only difference is tuple is immutable that means once you create a tuple so how to create a tuple in uh, python so any variable name and then we put the function like bracket we can put the element something like this okay so what is the difference here a list we use square bracket for tuple we use function like bracket okay but now this will not be able to modify because a tuple is immutable right so that's the uh, difference we have between list and tuple so depending on what kind of a data you have you can choose whether you want to use a tuple or list right now the next data structure that we are going to discuss is about the dictionary okay so this is again a very important data structure so what is meant by dictionary so dictionary is a collection of key value pairs okay key value pairs so uh, basically dictionary data structure is very useful when you want a uh, data access very fast because if you see uh, in a list or a tuple if we have a very huge data the only option that we have to access the data is a sequentially we have to go by index by index right so if you have let's say data of like uh, one crore element and if you want to get an element somewhere in between you need to go one by one indexing and then only you will be able to get that element right <coughs> sorry but if you want to access the data very fast we can use a dictionary because in a dictionary okay in a dictionary uh, dictionary is enclosed in the curly brackets and every data will have some specific key right so here this is a key value pair where key is a colon value is 100 so colon is a separator between key and value right so now let's say another key we have and it has value 200 right so now if you know the key simply you can directly access the value right you don't need to go sequentially let's say you know that okay i want to access the key b so simply you can do my dictionary of b so this will simply directly return the value 200 right but that is not the case in if we have a, a, a list right you need to go by index by index like index of 0 index of 1 this is how you will be able to get that element but in a dictionary if you know the key simply you can get the value right so if you need a fast data access go for dictionary then we have a, another data structure we call it as a uh, we call it as a uh, set okay so this is again a very important data structure so let's try to understand few properties of the set so first and very important uh, attribute or the property of the set is set does not accept duplicates okay it does not accept duplicates that means whatever the elements we have in a set those will be unique elements okay if you try to add the duplicate element it will simply ignore that means so first of all how to create the set so set we can create by simply so set is we enclose in the curly brackets okay so what is the difference here in the my dictionary we have a key value but here we'll have only value so we can have something like this okay this is how you can specify the dictionary but if i do something like this my set in curly bracket if i do 10 comma 20 comma 10 right so as the property says does not accept a a duplicate it will not complain but if i just try to print the set you can see it is simply ignoring that uh, duplicate 10 value right so this is a very important to know that set does not accept duplicates then the next property of the set is set is a 
unordered collection okay what does it mean by unordered collection that means set elements are not stored in not stored sequentially in a memory that means maybe at 1000 address it will store 10 at 2000 address it will store 20 at 2050 it will store uh, a next element right so those are not stored uh, sequentially in a memory and that's the reason will not be able to access set element by using index okay so that's why indexing is not allowed in set okay so these are the three property a uh, very important property of the set we need to remember okay so let me just repeat what all the data structures that we have specified okay so first one is a int simply you can just uh, do something like this a is equal to 10 so this will uh, initialize a, a data uh, initialize a variable with type integer then we have a string data structure so to initialize a string a variable what you can do is either you can use quotes okay uh, something like this quote or you can use a str function okay so any of this option is fine to initialize the string then we have seen a list so for a list either you can use a square bracket or we, we have a list function so both of these options are perfectly fine so for a tuple we use uh, we use uh, this kind of a bracket or you can use a tuple function right then for a dictionary okay for a dictionary we use curly brackets okay or you can use a dict function any of this is fine and then uh, for a set now this set and dictionary using a similar bracket so if you want to create a set we have only option that is using a set function okay if you just use a curly bracket this is not allowed because if we use a curly bracket it will consider it as a dictionary so use set function if you want to initialize an empty set right so these are the few differences and these are the data structures we have in python so just do uh, if you want to learn everything in python so first thing that we need to understand is this data structures okay so we'll have i'll create a separate videos where we'll discuss all each and every data structure separately what all operation that we can do on that so everything we'll see in detail okay so thanks everyone i hope everyone liked this video so don't forget to uh, like and subscribe this channel so thanks everyone